The district court has heard allegations that hundreds of dairy cows belonging to the country's biggest share milking company were chronically underfed and ill-treated. The prosecution of the company, Milk Pride, comes as the Ministry for Primary Industries releases a new animal welfare strategy. Joining me now is Federated Farmers Chief Executive Connor English. Good morning, Mr English. Thank you for joining us this morning. Good morning, Rachel. There are, this was a pretty horrendous case of neglect to these cows and they were, you know, ill-treated, uh, underfed. What do you know about the circumstances around this case? Well, look, it's, it's probably not appropriate for me to comment about this specific uh, case because it is before the courts and due process is, is working its way uh, through. What I can say, though, is that uh, farmers, uh, generally speaking, uh, you know, don't don't mistreat their animals, uh, don't underfeed them and certainly uh, work very hard to look after their animals because a, a healthy animal is a profitable animal. So this is the exception rather than the rule. Indeed, certainly from the images that we saw it seemed that these cows were still in milk so you know requiring an enormous amount of um, you know food to keep them going and clearly they weren't getting that. Uh, how can this happen in an industry which has very good returns? <laughs> Well, well, look, as I say, um, our animal welfare uh, record is actually fantastic in New Zealand and we are recognised globally as right up there as having the best animal welfare practices you know, on the planet. So there is, you know, there is going to be an exception, I, I guess uh, from time to time and, and for, for a range of reasons. But one of the things that we've seen recently, Rachel, with the um, drought has been a challenge for animal welfare because we have been short of water uh, to, to, for, for animals to drink and we have been short of grass for, for for animals to eat and, and one of the things that New Zealanders can be reassured is that our farmers have put enormous en uh, energy, effort and money into ensuring that their animals uh, continue to be well fed and, and continue to be looked after well. Yes, I mean the images we did see of these cows, it did look like they had, um, had sustained neglect. I think the farmer suggested it was because there had been a couple of days of, uh, of snow. But do you think people need to be more upfront about reporting these situations? For example, there must have been you know, someone who mm. drove a, a milk tanker into that farm to get the milk from the vats uh, each week. Do we need people to be more out front if they see animals that well, are we, we, looking ill-treated? We, we, we think it's absolutely critical that our animals are well-treated and we think it's absolutely critical that our reputation for good animal welfare practices is uh, protected. So, yeah, when, when people do see uh, uh, concerns that they might have, uh, absolutely re report it. I think we've got to have, sometimes though, sometimes people from the city uh, can look at animals in the countryside and be concerned when they don't need to be, but that aside, um, look, we, we, we don't support anyone who mistreats animals at all. What is Federated Farmers going to do to address these issues or what is it doing to address these issues? Well, look, as I say, um, you know, there's going to be the odd case where, where people get it wrong and sometimes that can be, you know, for mental health reasons or it can be for financial reasons or simply just uh, bad attitude reasons. But that is a, a, a very, very small portion of, of farmers. 99.9% .9 of farmers absolutely do care for their animals. Uh, having said all that, you know, we can always continue to, to improve and Minister Guy, our uh, primary sector minister, came out with a new strategy uh, last week and that's looking to re fresh uh, the Animal Welfare Act a and it's important to note that this um, isn't just f uh, targeted at uh, rural, uh, the rural situation and farmers, uh, also the people in our cities who have companion cats and dogs sure. uh, are also going to be uh, un under the review as okay. well. Okay, let's just touch quickly on the drought because um, many of the urban centres have had a lot of rain in the last 48 hours. Yeah. How have farmers uh, fared in, in some of those drought hit areas? Well, look, if it doesn't rain, it pours, doesn't it? And, and it's hard to get the weather just, uh, just right. But um, look, having, having rain is, is, is great and the farmers certainly uh, welcome it because uh, if you've got rain you've got more chance of growing grass than if you don't have rain. So we've had rain across a lot of New Zealand. Uh, there are still some parts of New Zealand though that haven't uh, enjoyed the, the, the big dollops of rain that we've had uh, and, and uh, are still uh, very dry actually. Okay. Uh, Con English, thanks very much for your time this morning. Thank <laughs> you.